Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. It is May 28th, 2024. My name is Kyle. I'm here with Mrs. Olson for Maker Notes. Today we get to share with you, we get to spill the tea about the eighth annual Four Day Knit Along from our friend Marie Green of Olive Knits. This is spill the tea, everyone. Um, the tea that Mrs. Olson is wearing is what we're gonna be making. And this is a project where you're encouraged by everyone else who's knitting along with you to make a project, make a garment faster than you ever thought possible. It started years ago when Marie uh, was just challenging herself to see if, gosh, I wonder if I could knit a sweater, you know, in a weekend or a long weekend, and it blossomed into this really incredible annual event. And you know we love it. And many of you probably saw the teaser event where we previewed our project and the yarn, as well as all the other goodies. If you haven't gotten yours yet, we encourage you to get it now because things are selling very quickly. I'm gonna talk about first the colorways that we created and the yarn that we're using. So this colorway is called Matcha. That's the colorway of the, the color combo of this uh, piece here. And it's made using this yarn. So the yarn itself is called Twisp. This is from Haiku. It is a little 50 gram skein and it is a 70% Pima cotton, 20% uh, bamboo viscose and 10% hemp blend. It's 164 yards on one of these little 50 gram skeins. And you'll need like, I think a total of eight. So all of the measurements and everything are in the newsletter, as well as on the twist page. I think you need for the smallest size, which is a 36. Um, I think you need six hanks or, or rather skeins of twist and one skein each for the two different accent colors that are used on the project. So in this case, the matcha colorway, this is Lagoon. This is color 6010, and it was paired with 6014 pair uh, for the little dots that are on there. And this is Fuchsia, right, 6007. So those are the two accent piece colors that were used for this particular colorway. And if I bring this up a little closer, this is the swatch that we made. We made swatches of these five, five, yeah, I think five different, one, two, three, four, five, yes, five different color combinations that are just suggestions for you. And um, since the preview happened, uh, people have been ordering Twist and lots of really great combos. It's a fantastic yarn line. This yarn has a lot of uh, sheen and drape and durability and, um, and it's really fun to work with. So it's perfect for a summer project because it's lighter weight as far as the uh, fiber content. It's wool free, which means people who might have a wool allergy don't have to worry about that. This is a project designed for you, which is super fun, right? So I showed you the matcha colorway. So this is gonna be the oolong colorway. So for this one, we're suggesting, um, I believe French navy. Isn't that right? Yes, French Navy. So this is 6012 as the main color. And then there's gonna be two different accent colors. There's going to be Lakeshore, which is 6004, and the Natural 6003. And the 6004 is the one with that's the little dots along in there. Um, and then the 6003 Natural is just a little stripe. You're never working with more than one yarn at a time on this project. You uh, will be carrying yarns, like having them along the side of your work as you're uh, knitting, but it is so, so easy. And the little bit of lace that's in here is a very, very simple repeat. So if you've never done lace before, you're gonna be able to do this. Um, it becomes very repetitive. It is the same two round or two, yeah, two round repeat. There is, uh, you'll be working back and forth um, flat once you divide here. So you start at the bottom, you're knitting in the round all the way up to the divide. You'll divide for um, the armholes and then you'll work the front and back separately. And so you'll work just one little tiny repeat here of the pattern on each one of them, at least for this size. It might be different for, no, I think it's the same for all the sizes. Well, you'll find out when you read the pattern, right? And then uh, you do the front, right and left front for the V, you do the back, you do a few little tiny seams, just the shoulder seams right here. And then you'll do the armhole ribbing, this little bit of ribbing here, and you'll do the V-neck ribbing and you're done. It is an awesome project. So I showed you 
two of the colorways. Let's show you Ceylon, which is the third color combo. That's going to be a main color of this really pretty green, which is called Spring Bamboo. This is 6,008. Then the little dots for this one will be the natural color, uh, 6,003, right? And then uh, 6016 Coral is what the little stripe would be. So for that color combo, if we knit up a little swatch and show you, this is what it looks like. Cute, right? Then the next one, moving right along, is going to be um, Chai. So Chai is Fire Clay, 6011. And the little tiny dots are going to be Sepia, 6013. And then our good friend Natural. No, it's not natural, actually. It's a different color. It's a little darker than this. But anyway, you'll get the idea. It's a, the little silverish gray color. I don't remember the number. I didn't bring that yarn. But here, you can see what it looks like in the swatch. We use that silvery gray. And then the last one is a remix of the brighter colors. So this one uses the bright, bright pink. So this is fuchsia. We talked about that one before. And then paired with natural and paired with lime. Pear, rather. It looks like lime to me, but it's pear. So those three all together make a fun bright pink one. There is that combo. This is Rubios. So those are just five different color combos we came up with. You can come up with your own, of course. Again, you just need whatever color for the main body, and then you need one skein for the um, little accents. You could use the same skein, same color for both the little stripes and the dots if you wanted to make it a little more um, subtle, have less color um, colors in your piece. You could do that if you'd like. So that is a consideration as well. Um, that is the yarn. So you get the yarn. We um, are ready to send that out to you. We have a bonus pack as well, and anyone can get the bonus pack. It is just an add-on for you to consider. It celebrates the four-day knit-along and the spill the tea theme. So what we did is, of course, our friend Corey um, printed these bags for us using the really fun images from this knit-along. So it is a zippered bag, has the rainbow zipper, which is super fun. The back of the project bag has the little teacups and the bottom one there you can see has the Olive Knits logo on it, which I think is super, super cute. Um, so this is the little zippered project bag that you can use for um, forever and ever. And just remember your fun adventure and how you knitted something faster than you thought possible. We also added um, a few other things. So we have this fun little sticker. So this is a, a sticker you could put on a water bottle or something like that, maybe uh, to remind yourself of your adventure. We also had created an enamel pin. So the enamel pin looks like this, and that is going to be included as well. So you can put that on a project bag if you like um, to remind yourself of the fun and adventure of spilling the tea for this eighth annual adventure. Then we, we did a lot. We partnered also with our friends at Sunrise Grove and had these little stitch markers made. This is a little lasered teacup stitch marker that's rainbowy in color. Each one of these is a little different. I'll show you, here's a, here's a different one. Um, they're all sort of rainbowy colors, but they're all a little different in color, so let us pick one for you. So you'll get that. And then the coolest thing, well, they're all really cool, but another cool thing is you get the pattern if you need it. So the Spill the Tea pattern, there's a preview file that you'll receive. Um, purchasing the bonus packet includes the pattern, um, but right away we're able to when we purchase it. So the second you pay for it and check out, it doesn't show up automatically. We have to go through and buy the pattern from Marie for you. If you have a Ravelry name, tell us what that is and we can put the pattern in your library. Otherwise, you're going to get the pattern file digitally to whatever email you use when you check out. And uh, we're going to print a copy of this preview file and include it with the yarn or the bonus pack or whatever, all the stuff that you got. And if you got the bonus pack, these are going to ship out starting around, we believe, the 17th or so of June. So just a couple weeks to wait, but there's plenty of time. We can't cast on until July 3rd anyway. So we are um, feverishly <laughs> sewing up these bags, which is a lot of fun. 
there is a set number of these. So when they're gone, they're gone and they are going also as a side note. So then um, when do you get the actual pattern? July 3rd. So July 3rd, the pattern will get up, uh, updated, uploaded, revealed by all of Knits. And that's when everyone is ready to cast on and get going. And you'll be able to start your knitting adventure right then at that time. Before then, you'll have that preview pack, which has some information about gauge and choosing your size and all of that. Um, the garment itself, it comes in nine different sizes, um, anywhere from 36 inch to 68 inch um, finished chest. And it's the actual size of the piece of fabric that these measurements are. And Marie designed this to have about four inches of positive ease, which means if my chest measurement is 36 inches, I would want to add four inches to that and I'd want to find a size that's somewhere around 40 inches for the finished garment size for the size that uh, would fit the way that Marie um, was envisioning it to fit on us. If you want it to be a little uh, more fitting or a little less fitting, it's totally something you can do as well. Just choose whatever size you're comfortable with and you'll be able to knit your project however you want. Um, so that's the bonus pack. That is the yarn book, Seamless Knit Sweater. So if you like Marie's uh, um, concept, the way that she likes to knit patterns, she usually is doing these top down, but most certainly as few seams as possible. And Seamless Knit Sweaters in two weeks is a, um, <laughs> a collection of really awesome projects that you could certainly make cardigans and tees and all kinds of other stuff. And it's written in that clear language that Marie um, is known for, and they're just super cute. Every one of them is really, really good. If you are interested in lighter weight um, projects or projects that are seamless, this is something that you might want to consider. Um, there's lots of different sleeve lengths. There's lots of uh, different body types that these garments will be happy with. Oh, this is a really cute one. And this too, super cute. So if you don't have this one already, we got a few of these left in stock. You are welcome to get one and put it in your cart before it, uh, they are all sold out. So that is the Seamless Knit Sweaters book. And my goodness, I've been talking a lot. Hopefully you had a good holiday weekend. Hopefully you have a wonderful week ahead. Um, make sure that you get on and order your stuff right away. Um, and gosh, oh, I forgot. What do you do with the leftovers? I didn't even mention because I noticed how long I've been talking. I've been rambling a long time today, I'm sorry. When you're done with your project, you have leftovers. And what do you do with the scraps? Well, Twisp, this particular yarn, is approved by our friends at Knitted Knockers. So Knitted Knockers is a nonprofit from Barb Demarest, or Barb founded this organization. And it is an opportunity for us to make hand knit or crocheted um, knockers, breast prosthetics, for people who have undergone mastectomy. So these are very soft. They are knit using yarns that are wool-free. There are quite a few of them that are approved. Among them is Twisp. So Twisp is a great option, and since you might have some leftover yarn, you will have leftover for the two little accent um, colors. We already know that. So you could take that yarn, add a few more if you want. Maybe um, do this color here, this natural color, maybe do some black, perhaps some of the darker colors as well. Solid colors are ideal for most uh, of the people who are first per, um, requesting these, um, these knockers, these prosthetics, because they want to sort of blend in with like the bra or whatever that a person is wearing. Um, they're, once they have those, they often will ask for more or others, and some of those more colorful, fun ones also are used. Also the multicolor, so if you just happen to have lots and lots of these two colors, you can make knitted knockers out of these colors as well. This nonprofit also supports places all over the world and other countries. There are some uh, folks who are really um, delighted to receive the very bright and um, colorful knitted knockers. So what do you do with your leftovers? You do something to help someone else. So I think that is much, <laughs> very much worth spending a few extra seconds to talk to you. You can check out the information about the nonprofit Knitted Knockers at knittedknockers.org or go onto our website. And if you look at Twisp, 
the yarn that we're going to be using for our four-day knit-along. You'll see information there as well as some of the knockers that some of our volunteers have made. And I think that really, really is it. So have a fun, fun week, everyone. Thank you so much for listening. I will see you again on Friday. Thanks. Bye.